Thank we'll you. give you a percentage of a percentage. I'm going to, I'm going to put my kids in the best schools possible. By the way, we'll, we'll see you on Skid Row. Word. Word. And then we'll tell your story. Maybe we'll sell it for like a movie. 20 yes, exactly. years. <laughs> Get a cut of that too as well. You got people putting out movies and shows without people's permission. Mike Tyson got a, a show out right now. He had nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's <Yep>. great. <laughs> it took your whole life. It's like, yeah, we're going to sell this. Oh, There's Don King. Do. Look, I'm a big boxing fan. Don King is one of the most ridiculously ruthless pieces of shit that's ever been on this planet. Yeah, he's a crook. Yeah, he, he, he robbed a lot thing. of people. That's, and it's not even just him. There's a lot of these like boxing promotions that's dirty as hell. Oh, yeah. That's why I respect Floyd Mayweather for at least being like, eh, I'm going to stop my own giant. I don't really rock with them. So let's just do the, the work to build my own. I always respect that in all types of industries, uh, whether it's music or even like acting or comedy. Like, you know how many people I see right now on TV that I'm like, I remember I used to subscribe to their YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. And they just kept going, kept going independent, had a few viral videos, started writing, and then now they got a, a show with a bunch of awards. Like, what's the name of that show? Um, Abbott Elementary? I don't know. If that, you I'm not familiar with that. It's like a show with these like school teachers in elementary school. It's, it's mad funny. It's filmed like a uh, modern family. Oh, okay. So imagine that like mockumentary, but it's like these school teachers and they're dealing with the funniest shit. Um, but the girl who's like the star of it, I remember her from YouTube doing the he getting money skits. Oh, okay. <laughs> she would be out in public with some guy and then he'll order something and she'd be like, oh my God, he's getting money. <laughs> <laughs> he got money. He got nachos in the soda. Oh. But then like she kept on working and, and blew up and eventually made it like that. Same thing with Donald Glover. I remember him from YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people don't even know that. Donald Glover was a YouTube with uh, what's his name? Uh, Derek Comedy, I think it was the name of the group. And his friends that did comedy skits. And that's Kind of the thing these days, there's so much, you don't have to be with these shit bags. That's true. And it's just the harder work though. It is. I don't know that it's, it's harder work because there's a lot of people who've signed like with records or uh, Hollywood producers and stuff, and they never get any promotion. True. They're like, you, you, you have to promote it yourself. Well, if I'm promoting it myself, what the hell did I need you for? That's true. <laughs> that's, that's mad true. Didn't they do that to Van Damme? Then he had to promote, uh, what was his first movie? Was it Bloodsport? Bloodsport. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Gave him a deal and all that, and he still had to go promote himself and was out there passing out fly. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Yep. And that's a classic. I wonder if uh, my man from Rocky had to do that. They had to make <laughs> him go promote his own show. That's crazy. Yeah. And it, it's unfortunately, it's not that uncommon. Yeah. That's definitely how it goes. And then they're like, yeah, uh, we don't know why that artist failed, but we're going to put them on a behind the music later and make more money off of them. Which is wow. So we know that you could do it independently for music, still make a living, actually do well, but not get the like the recognition. Do you think that's possible for, for acting? You think somebody could put out like movies independently and it still get big? I think it's possible. I don't think we're there yet mm. um, because it, it, it would require so much. Look, I'm going to get a little political here. Uh, when it comes to the acting side of it, unfortunately, the unions really do control all of that. Mm. So doing it independently even trying to get this stuff, you literally have to do everything by yourself. And it's, it's a lot more than producing a, a record or the one that I'm seeing that I'm really liking now is comedians who are doing it. They're I like, have Fuck seen that. No, I've seen, but they ended up taking like deals at the end. Like yeah. instead of like a, a straight up deal for them to sign with a company and the company make it, they'll sign like a distribution deal or something like similar to what Jay-Z did with Rockefeller. Like, yo, yeah. we did all this stuff in-house pay us a certain amount of money and we'll split profits with you. And so I, I think it's possible. I don't know that we're going to see it anytime really soon where you're going to see somebody who blows up real big with acting, but comedians can certainly do it. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they, 
they could do that. I've seen small versions of that. Like I've seen TV shows or shows from YouTube get bought and shown on like certain apps and streaming services oh, yeah. as a show. Like uh, there was a show called uh, Video Game High School, I think, which was so high level. I was like shocked that they made that on YouTube, but they sure enough like bought that up and was it was on Netflix for a little while and a bunch of other streaming services. I'm like, wow. But that still was like at a small scale. I would love them to be able to do an independent movie or something and that should get the same amount of attention of a major film. I, I, yeah, I think maybe the, again, distribution is one of the hardest parts with that because to get into theaters, you got to buy into the Hollywood shit. So you're talking about going, um, maybe a Netflix, maybe a Hulu kind of thing. But how long a theater is going to last? Like, I don't fuck with theaters no more. And I used to be the biggest theater guy. I, I would go to the movies every day. Now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they got streaming services. Uh, why do that when I could be comfortable in my house, smoking, doing whatever I want? I literally worked out the entire time I watched the last Batman movie. That was amazing. I shit, dude. I just like being able to pause, go to the bathroom, and not miss anything. See, doing that—that's an option as well. I, I wish they would that, put new movies out just straight to streaming services. Fuck the theater. And I hear you, and I think that's probably the smarter way for studios to go, but studios make their their biggest money in the sales. So, you know, once they sell it to a streaming service, it's not like they get a, a portion for each dollar unless it's one of the ones where they're actually sold there, you know, where it's like uh, in the theater and you can watch it at home at the same time if you pay $30. That so Netflix doesn't have something like that? Like they could do I, it similar to how musicians get paid, even though it's, it is shitty. It's like Spotify money ain't that much. But if they like, I don't know, leverage that shit to what, how good the movie is or who's in it or who it's from, maybe they get a cut of the streams. Because Netflix is definitely getting paid per fucking, well, not per stream, but because they don't do advertisements no more, right? I uh, fuck. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've watched any. I don't watch much TV. They used to. I don't think they do anymore. Hulu still does advertisements. So if you do it like that, to where you set up, all right, these movies are for free. They come straight to the streaming service, but they're going to have commercials. Give the, the ad money. You don't think ad money would, would make up? I maybe, maybe it, it's, it's such a different model from music mm -hmm. and like you can take a, a song and put it on somebody can go buy it on iTunes for a dollar or just watch it on YouTube over and over again, where you'll, you don't get a lot of money from it, but you do get something. I don't, yeah. I don't think we're at a point where you're going to have people making movies that way. I hope in the future, I really do. Cause Hollywood is shit and it needs to be <laughs> fixed. Oh, one second, but. No problem. Yeah, I do think Hollywood is trash. Y'all you said you need Mel Gibson money to make a decent movie independently. I don't know, man. Like, I've seen some good-ass low-budget films, man. That's because um, I'm, I'm a movie guy. I watch a lot. Do you know who the critical drinker is? Yeah. He is making his own independent thing right now where uh, it's from books that he's written. Oh. And um, he had them, they're crowdfunded. Uh, it was, I think it was supposed to be like just like a half hour, but he got so much money that they're supposed to be adding to it. We'll yeah. see how that goes. Something like that can, can help start the ball rolling. 